Hi there! Today I want to show you how I do Karoom weeklies here in Sarpen. And as you probably know by now, Karoom symbols are used to buy Karoom Once, uh, this was gear. All land. And this is pretty much one of the best gear that you can buy at level 60 that will uh, help you Peace to run the level 65 uh, instances. So you should go for this uh, gear uh, if you want to spend some time. Uh, anyway, so what you have to do, first of all, you should bind here uh, in Kamar. And then you come to this room and you take the quest from Betios and Baya. And they have also, they, they also give you the daily quest. But I want to show you how the weekly quests are, can be done. And the way I usually do it is by first killing the mob that spawns right here on the top right. And let's go there. And I choose this one because it's the far most mob that you can uh, that you need to kill. And because you are bound in Sarpan, you can go there, kill him, and then go ahead and kill the other mobs. So it's pretty much a, a rotation that I do, and I think it saves a lot of time. So for me, it works uh, quite well. You can finish this quest in, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe. So anyway, you have to first take a flight to this uh, Jotun research expedition where I am right now and then you have to cross this desert all the way to the top so if you have a mount you can uh, finish it really quick if you don't have a mount you can just use a running scroll and you will be there in no time. So let's let's do it. You can just avoid every mob in your path. Don't need to fight them. And you'll be there in a minute. <coughs> so if if you are if you are now wondering ho uh, how or where I got my amazing horse, I can tell you. You actually buy this horse using uh, legion coins and you can buy it in sanctum for i believe 364 legion coins it's quite a lot and you can get those coins by doing uh, quests for your legion doing the legion tasks or you can also run an instance called universal absol splinter and there you get up to 4 legion coins every time you run so it will take you maybe 3 weeks maybe 4 weeks to get this uh, horse and it just looks awesome so you should go for it so anyway you, you get this nice shade camp here and you are going to cross all the way to this small hill so you get he on the edge, <coughs> sorry, and that one is the mob that you should kill, so right there. It is not really hard, so I just bump this guy, I kill him right away. So as you can see there are four mobs, they made, they may do some damage but you can just ignore them and kill the boss so this is the first one is that now I just need to find a safe place and I will return to a sarpan so let's do it and just press return and you'll be there
Okay, now that we have killed the first mob, we are heading toward the second mob. And they spawn right here on the top left. And if you watched my uh, other video that I did on Karun, I think the name is uh, Things That You Should Do at Level 55, uh, it explains which mob you have to kill and for which quest. But I'm going there anyway just to show you. So you take a flight to Nolatia, Nolotia. Goes more or less like this. Let's see if I got it right. Nope, got it wrong. And the first mob here is actually a daily mob for the daily quest. And these six mobs here are the mobs that you have to kill for the Oreo quest. So uh, it's it's not really hard. So you can enjoy the view. This game is just beautiful. Okay, so here we are. For the weekly quest from Oreo, you have to kill those fungis. And for the daily quest, you actually have to kill a sort of kangaroo that spawns here. Oh, th this guy, Guru. I already killed him, so I won't kill him again. But anyway, you know, we just kill five six of those and Peru and you'll be ready to go and we are now heading to the next target which is spawns here in this forest so basically you're jumping into this either craft and it will take you to the elements forest from there you just have to uh, just run this way, and you find you find the mob right here. Again, I made the wrong drawing. Doesn't matter. Any scroll. So you just follow this road, cross over uh, this bridge, then you jump, jump into this lake. Try to avoid, try to avoid those mobs. They are really annoying. Okay, so go under the waterfall, and you have to kill that guy. Spirit of Silence. Again, I already killed him, so I'm not killing him twice. And we will uh, head to the next target. So this time you better have a runny screw or a uh, mount. Because we have to go a long way to the next target. Which spawns somewhere here. So basically what we are doing, we are crossing over this whole uh, region and we'll find him there. Just go over this path, ignore every mob you can, doesn't matter if they shoot you, probably resist that. And Jump down this cliff and 
keep running along the path. So this is uh, my first video that I actually made voiceover. Not over, I'm speaking and playing at the same time. It is not easy, I must, I must say, especially when English is not your uh, mother tongue. But bear in mind that I'm doing my best. And also I need to learn uh, better how to play with uh, Audacity and recording settings and, and everything else. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind and please don't be too harsh on me. So let's get out of this mount. We are now uh, close to the mob that we have to kill. And I would advise you to go ahead and clean up the whole uh, way. So you have like three mobs here and you have to kill this sergeant Gutu. It's safer if you uh, clean this. Because they actually hurt. Three of them. See if half HP is fine. Wow. But I'm a shanter. I can pretty much ignore everyone and go for for the kill. There we go. So okay, the second mob is dead. And the second with the third one I think. And what we can do now is to return to Kamar where we'll where we'll find where we fly to the next mob, sorry. Uh, so, follow the road to Western uh, Seal. Take a flight up to Kamar. And from here, I'll show you where to go next. So let's get into my horse. Because horses are, are awesome. And let's Go ahead and finish it. Okay, now we are flying back to this, uh, to Kamar, and we basically have to kill one last mob, and we will complete the Sarpan uh, weeklies. And the mob actually spawns somewhere here, and the reason for leaving this one for the last is that uh, first when we when we are here we are probably not on cooldown for uh, return anymore so we can just go back to uh, Sarpen and turn in every quest and also if you want because you you already uh, finished everything you can just click there and I tell you you can just go ahead and run some Rexen. You get even more Karooms if you need it. 
So, yeah, that's why I leave this one for the last. I'll trace again the path. And I'm doing it right this time. Oh, well, not really. From here, it's pretty much going down this road. So if you know where uh, Rexan is, you can just go uh, to the entrance. And I'll show you where. Where is the mob? Again, let's get on my horse. Rush. You better have the assassin behind you rather than the rather than this guy because this guy does this to you. And if you cannot dispel it, they can even kill you. So uh, be careful when you're uh, crossing uh, this region. Okay, so what we have to do now is from the, the entrance of uh, Rexang, you go up this this uh, stairs. Right here, you can just attack this mob. Don't forget about him. And here's the guy that you have to kill. So, yeah. Oh, he actually came behind me. So again, he's dead. I will ignore you. And that's it. The mob is dead. So now that we complete everything we can basically go back to the Sarpan and turn in all the quests so this is this is basically what you have to do for uh, for the weeklies in Sarpan okay so I'm just using return to Sarpan and I have I have to turn in the quest and I can tell you how much caroons I actually got from from the weeklies. So right now I have almost 600 and if I turn in everything see a smile on you. See a smile on you. 29 See a smile on you. Fifty nine. Tiamat destroys everything. Seventy nine. Karun will save us. Plus thirty, that makes hundred and nine. 
Yes. So that's pretty much it for Sarpen. Sarpen. Uh, this is something that you should be doing after level 57 and you can get up to 100 karoons every week at least by doing so. So yeah, do it. So that's it for this video guys, I will now uh, record the next one showing the Tiamaranta weeklies and I see you then, bye bye.